We don't take it lightly. It's a big responsibility. Everybody feels it when they first walk in, to see what's up. They used to, um, they used to lay it out for us. There was a script to read. Uh, there was an animatic to watch. But we realize they realize it. It's really, it's it's really a story that is in flux for about the three and a half years that you spend making it. So that every time we come on, we kind of like say, well. What's new? You know, what are you, you going to spring on us now? Uh, but also, it always comes down to this relationship between between us, with the microphone right there, and our uh, our memories and our interpretation of everything the characters have been through. I feel uh, I feel like the, the toughest the toughest job were the folks who are walking in for the first time. You know, Tim and I and uh, and Annie. Uh, we all we all have a lot of muscle memory that's based on being in being in those studios with those microphones, and so we uh, we kind of are able to go into a trance. I think like Keenan and Christina and Keanu there and Tony, they're all asking, "Have I done this right? Is will Forky remain in the movie?" And I think, "Yeah, we'll be fine. You'll be you'll, you've done you've done well." I think the most important thing is that there is a. There is familiarity and gravitas to everything that they go through. I, I, I think the thing about the Toy Story films has always been that here are these inanimate objects that actually do represent who sort of we are as, as human beings and we identify with everything that they're going through. And in a lot of ways we envy them their, uh, their sense of belonging and their sense of purpose. Uh, that's, what, that, that's what I get from it all the time and uh, I can't wait to see what we have here.